So today we are shopping at Aldi and I'm going to include all of the WW points, calories, and prices. These are super cute. Pineapple sippers. Standard size apple. The strawberries right now at Aldi. These just remind me of summer. Chicken jackpot, $1.69 per pound. Um, lunch. How did I just say lunch? Brunch is a much more commonly accepted term. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren back with another video and I'm coming to you from my car, which usually means we are headed inside to do a little shop with me and grocery haul. Today I'm at Aldi and I cannot wait to restock all of our favorite things. It has been almost three weeks since I did a big shopping haul for my channel and it's because I honestly haven't really been grocery shopping other than for running out for like one or two little things at a time for a specific recipe in three weeks. I did that huge first time shop with me at Costco and between that and the haul I picked up at Walmart the same day, we've been stocked. But now we are definitely ready to fill up on all of our favorite things, all of our great healthy choices. If you guys are new, hey, I'm Lauren. I share wellness, recipes, and lifestyle here on my channel, including my journey to losing 150 pounds. So far, I'm 73 pounds down using the WW Blue Plan, as well as counting calories for a calorie deficit. I love sharing recipes that use simple, healthy foods that also don't break the bank, though. So today, we are shopping at Aldi, and I'm going to include all of the WW points, calories, and prices for today's shopping haul right here in the bottom bar. I have my list of staples, but I also love to check out their seasonal and limited release products on their specialty shelves. So let's head inside and see what goodies we can find today. Got my lotus bags ready to go. I love stocking up on all the fresh produce at Aldi because it's such a good price but I am also heading over to Costco in another day or so. So um, some things that I need in bigger quantity, I'm gonna hold off and get there, but let's grab some great fresh produce. It all looks so great. And look, they're unpacking fresh stuff right now. Great day. None of them have a red though. They're all yellow, orange, yellow. And this one's two yellows and a red. Really great price on the fresh summer yellow squash and zucchini. These are already looking good and they're only going to look better as the summer goes on. Onions are one thing I usually try and just buy, in, unless I'm using a ton of them for a specific recipe, I'll just buy like one or two big yellow onions and one big red onion at a time, like weekly. Otherwise they go bad for me because I just don't have like dry storage space other than like my fridge. These potatoes look good. Little baby ones. These would be so fun to do as like smashed potatoes in the oven roasted. Tricolor ones. We're gonna pick up some sweets for this week. These look good. The maple syrup is always one of my favorite buys at Aldi. It's literally the same exact stuff that you get at Trader Joe's. They have like the same parent company and it's such a great quality. It tastes amazing and a really good price. I'm gonna grab some pancake mix. The last time I was at Costco, they only had the protein kind of pancakes and my child won't eat those. So these will work. I think I'm gonna do a really fun freezer meal prep with these. Apples all year round. These are our favorites. We love the pink ladies. The great price for cherries, really. You can tell it's Georgia strawberry season. These, oh my goodness, there's like five strawberries in here. They're huge. So recently my family has really been loving like the artisan style bread. I think it's from Sarah Lee, but this is the Lee oven, which is like the Aldi brand. So we'll give it a roll. I can get this in a double pack at Costco for a pretty good price, but I'm not going to Costco for a couple days. So we're gonna try this one out. I love carbs, but I will say these are a big no for me guys. If you're going with bagel, lighter versions. Go with the bagel thins from Thomas's. These like have a weird texture. They fall apart. They're not my fave. 
You guys know my fam's love of these wraps is real. Should we try something different this time? These are only three points. Those are six points on the blue plan. Let's see what the calories. We got 120 for one of these. And 200 for one of these guys. We're gonna try something different. One of the downsides with Aldi is you take what you get. They don't have every brand that you might necessarily be looking for or every type of product. So we've been really into like turkey pepperoni and turkey snack sticks as a great like protein snack along with some cheese um, in the afternoon. And they just don't have the turkey versions that I'm seeing. Ooh, salsa, yum. So I normally buy Lila's like snacks, my three-year-old daughter in just like regular boxes and we just portion them out because she's not in school yet but this summer she is starting some activities and they're in the afternoon so i have a feeling we might need some car snacks happening or these would be great to like bring along to the park super great prices on their canned veggies right now 47 cents 69 cents a can i like that they've had to put limits on them because that's a great price i am planning to grab a multi-pack at costco later this week but um, I do need some for before that. So I'm just gonna grab maybe two cans and then I'll grab the big pack for my stock up at Costco. But if you're not feeding a family and you don't use it very often, this is a great place to grab canned items. This one's new. I've used the tikka masala before. It's very good. I did it for a meal prep. But the korma, creamy yellow simmer sauce with spices and coconut. That sounds really yummy. I will say that this is 100 calories per serving, and this one's only 50. Hmm, should we try it? 30 of them, buck 89. Salmon hack. This piece, 6.62 for the pound, looks pretty big. This piece looks smaller, 6.70 a pound. They're almost the same weight, but this is gonna give you a better play because it's more even all the way across. This one is big at one end, but it tapers way down. This one's gonna cook way more even. You're gonna just have a better, better experience with this one. Chicken jackpot, $1.69 per pound. Another quick protein hack. You don't always wanna just buy the biggest weight chicken pack because this pack has six pieces. This pack has six pieces. This one is less in poundage, just under four pounds. That one's almost five pounds. So I'm trying to pay closer attention to my portion sizes anyway and often end up cutting up the chicken breasts because they're too big. So I'm gonna save a little money, get the same number of chicken breasts and be better in my portions. It's so fun how they get these special things in. Like here today, gone tomorrow. My husband would love these sauces. Not WW friendly though. That sounds good. These just remind me of summer. I like that there's no high fructose corn syrup. 80 calories bar. I just scanned these that came out to four points on the WW Blue Plan. Which is better than the seven points my other ice cream truck favorite comes in at. Hmm. have a lot of pre-packaged like high sodium and cookies this week in their specialties. So I'm gonna pass on those. Don't skimp on <laughs> the novelty aisle, guys. Look at how cute these cactus cups. These are super cute. Pineapple sippers, glass. So cute for outside. Ooh, I am so glad I have my Lotus bags today that I actually remembered them because uh, it is it is hot in my car. It has been almost 90 degrees already here in the Atlanta, Georgia area, so. All my frozen stuff would have melted. Okay, if you guys are interested in those bags, by the way, I always have them linked in my description below under my favorite things. We're done at Aldi. I spent just over $100 on a pretty decent stock up. I do have like my monthly Costco run to do, but I'm gonna do that later this week. I'll film everything for you guys in a separate video. Let me know in the comments below, do you guys like the shop with me and then haul style video? Or are you like, Lauren, you talk too much already? Just get to the haul. Let me know. <laughs> okay guys, let's head home, unpack, and I'm gonna show you everything I got at Aldi for the week. We are back 
from Aldi, and now it's time to unpack. I'm gonna share with you guys everything I got. Our haul was just over $100 today. I'm gonna to include calories, WW points, and prices in the bottom bar below. If you guys are interested in my meal plan for the coming week that I'm using a lot of these groceries in, you can check out the video that I'm linking up in the iCard. I go ahead and talk through my entire meal plan, what recipes I'm cooking this week. So without further ado, let's jump into our haul. Let's start with the cold stuff first so I can get it put away. All right, I showed you guys the salmon in the store. Their salmon at Aldi always looks great and so fresh. Um, and again, that trick with buying salmon you can get the same pound price point in each packet, but look at the shape of the salmon. This is a center cut. It's about the same width all the way along. You're gonna get two really great portions out of this one piece, and they're gonna cook really evenly. You won't have an overcooked skinny side while the bigger side is undercooked. You want to keep throwing it back either on the stove top or in the oven. So always look for the center cuts if you can find them. They're the same price and the same ounces, so you're getting the same amount of salmon, but it's gonna cook better overall if you can find a center cut piece. These are a new find for me. You guys know I love the Leoben spinach wraps, but they come in at six points a piece. So we're gonna try out these protein wraps this time around. Um, I love doing like chicken Caesar wraps with a bunch of salad in them, some chicken, and the Boathouse Farms light Caesar dressing, which is so, so good. It's not available at Aldi, but that is something I can pick up usually at any of the regular grocery stores, Publix, Kroger. Excited to try those. I will let you guys know the next Aldi haul if we're gonna repurchase or not. So stay tuned for that. I picked up two containers of strawberries. You know, these strawberries. These, these are insane. It's definitely strawberries is in strawberry to my head. Wait, where's the apples? I'm gonna show you the apples. Standard size apple, the strawberries right now at Aldi. I'm not, these are on the same plane. <laughs> this is crazy. The strawberries are almost as big as the pink lady apples I bought. I mean, they smell really good. Hopefully they're really sweet. All right, so I'm gonna set these aside so I can prep them. I like to do a vinegar wash on my fruit and then I store them in my red produce bins. You guys have loved these bins too. They are amazing. They keep my produce so much longer than any other Tupperware or method of washing fruit I've ever used. So they're amazing. Some vanilla non-fat Greek yogurt. My daughter loves this with frozen blueberries in the morning for breakfast. I like it too. This is that pineapple habanero salsa it sounded so good guys i had to try it and along with that we did grab some tortilla chips these are our favorite tortilla chips from aldi just the yellow corn tortilla ones they taste almost identical to the yellow corn tortilla chips from trader joe's probably because they're the same thing but these are great i believe you get 10 chips for four points check the bottom bar all right and then i got some more light spreadable butter we like using this on toast or in recipes when I'm cooking. I only bought one dozen eggs because I am going to Costco, so I'm just gonna buy one of their large like 36 packs when I'm there. I eat eggs almost every day, whether I'm making scrambled eggs or soft boiled eggs or hard boiled eggs, either for snacks or for breakfast. I make breakfast tacos. I do avocado toast with eggs on them. I just, I'm, I eat eggs all the time. And they have definitely been a staple as I've been losing weight on my health journey. Package of baby carrots for snacks. Mm, we're excited about these. My husband will be so excited. He loves cherries and they've just started coming into the stores. These ones look really good. So we're excited to have some fresh cherries on hand. And then we also bought a large pack of chicken. So I will go ahead and portion this out before I put it in the fridge or freezer. I'll either portion it into like two chicken breasts per Ziploc or reusable, freezable container. Um, and that way I have them separated so they're the perfect amount for one meal or recipe for my small family of three. Sometimes though, I also will take a large package like this and toss the entire thing in the crock pot with a little bit of fat-free chicken broth, cook it down either on the low for six to eight hours or on high for three to four, shred it up. My favorite method, which I've shared here before, is using like a kitchen aid and use the paddle attachment. Pop all your cooked chicken breasts in there, whether you've boiled them, baked them, or put them through the crock pot to cook. 
or Instapot, Instapot would work too, and you just turn it on on low and it shreds it all for you. No fork pulling, no using your hands. It's the easiest thing. You have to try it if you haven't yet. But I will prep and shred all of it at once and then I'll portion it down by weight. So I'll do a pound of shredded chicken in each bag and then since they weren't frozen first, as long as you're doing them from fresh, you can put them back in the freezer and pull them out as you need them. Shredded chicken thaws so fast. So if you've had a night where you forgot to pull a meat out of the freezer, you'll be set because you can pull this out and within an hour or two max, you can pop it under some like running water or in the microwave, it thaws out so fast. Bag one done. Bag number two. First up, we have some artisanal bakery bread. My family loves this style of bread because we use it a lot for like toast or sandwiches. I know it runs a little bit higher in points. I, in the past, have often gotten just the lay oven um, wheat bread or honey wheat bread, which normally comes in at two pieces for three points. But I've kind of realized I like the heartier bread. Some of the other ones, once you toast them, they taste like too much air in them. I like that I could do one piece of this that's denser instead of two pieces of the lighter version stuff. Obviously for sandwiches when you need two pieces of bread, that works great. But honestly, if I'm using bread, it's probably because I'm making avocado toast or something like that in the morning. So I want something a little heavier duty and I'll use a piece of this stuff. And my family eats it. I also grabbed asparagus. This stuff looked really good. Um, the stalks are getting nice and big. They're not too skinny, but not like too big where you don't feel like they'll have any flavor. So these will be great on the grill with our salmon this week. I did grab an English cucumber. I'm going to dice that up for snacking on throughout the week. Also, I think I'm going to be making like a Greek Mediterranean pasta salad for lunch prep. So I'll probably use it in that. I got, ooh, these are over here. Um, I got both some rainbow bell peppers, but as I told you guys in the store, they didn't have a yellow, orange, red pack, just two oranges and a red, which I know these, these will turn colors depending on how far they ripen, something like that. I don't really know. Anyway, I bought a pack of green. I bought a pack of rainbow. These ones I will probably slice and dice up ready for sauteing. Um, I like to use them for fajitas during the week, or a lot of times I'll throw them in with my my favorite eggs in the morning and do like a little skillet dish with some veggies and turkey sausage. Um, the green bell peppers I will dice and I'll have them meal prepped for the week. So uh, there's three of them. So I'll probably slice one for snacking um, like with hummus throughout the week and then the other two I'll dice one for the fridge and I'll dice one for the freezer because it's always great to have some dice ready to go on hand because I could throw together a really simple crock pot soup or some sort of like veggie and chicken dish super fast. My veggies are already cut. All right. I grabbed a few Roma tomatoes. I think we're going to do some like a crazy chicken this week and then a bag of sweet potatoes also for another recipe this week. Bag two. Okay. Last bag. All right. So I grabbed some white cheddar puffs. This is just like that puffiest popcorn from Trader Joe's or Pirate Booty. My daughter loves it. It's a great snack. And actually, you get a really decent serving size of this for pretty low point, low calorie. So it's a great snack, even if you're an adult. And I shared with you guys these, the mini gram bears. There's 12 one ounce pouches in here. These are for Lila. In the summer, we just need some more grab and go kind of snacks. It's nice to have a couple things that are like prepackaged. I can just grab one, toss it in my purse. I don't carry a diaper bag anymore. So it's small and compact. Um, and that way we go to the park, we go on a picnic, we go for a big walk. You never know when the three-year-old hunger monster is gonna come out. So it's just nice to have things on hand. All right, we need more just trash bags. They always have such a good price on their, I, I feel like paper goods is the wrong term for this stuff because it's not paper, but whatever that aisle is called. Trash bags, Ziploc bags. They carry this Boulder brand, which is totally just an off brand of Ziploc or I don't know, like Hefty, I guess that, I, I don't even know another garbage bag name to say off the top of my head. They came in at a really low price. I think they're great quality. I use these all the time to freeze food and do freezer meal prep and all that kind of stuff in. I also grabbed a package of croutons. You don't get too many of these for your points and calories. Well, you get two tablespoons for 30 calories. They're a nice way to mix it up a little bit. Also grab some pancake mix, hoping to use these for a freezer prep this week. 
I needed some more unsweetened applesauce. I always just grab these big containers of unsweetened applesauce. I use them in baking more than anything else because honestly, I still buy my kiddo like the pouches of applesauce a lot of times. Um, but this one I use for baking because you can swap out oil in almost any recipe for unsweetened applesauce, zero points. And then some Kalmata olives. These are just pitted Kalmata olives. Again, I'm gonna be making a Greek pasta salad. I think I've shared that recipe once before. If I did, I will link the video in the description box below. Um, ooh, I did end up picking up the korma sauce. We loved the tikka masala sauce, so I'm really excited. And we have all that chicken. So I'm excited just to whip up this with maybe some cauliflower rice to help lessen the points a little bit. Um, that's like a fun, different meal. I feel like I get sick of Mexican and Italian flavors all the time. It's nice to like expand my mind a little bit and try out like Indian flavors or Thai flavors. I just, sometimes I need to push myself to try new things because you never know what you're gonna like. All right, I grabbed two cans of just yellow sweet corn because they were that awesome price today. I will probably get a larger pack when I go to Costco just as like a pantry stock up. I grabbed some of their Elevation chocolate protein shakes. These are basically Aldi's version of Premier Protein. I've had these before. I've had the Walmart branded ones before. They taste great. I don't notice any difference from Premier Protein and they cost less. So I love to use these to make a profi. So I now have an espresso machine. We've only had it for maybe a month now. And so I'll go ahead and brew like a double shot of espresso here at home. I put it in the fridge while I like get my daughter situated with breakfast and then I'll add ice and usually about half of one of these. I can usually stretch each one of these to last me two drinks because I want to taste the espresso. I love coffee. So I like to taste it and not just feel like I'm drinking chocolate milk, but they really do fill you up as well as get your coffee in all in one little on the go drink. It's great if you have to run out the door in the morning because it's better than not eating breakfast. You have a little protein in you. Um, I'll usually do this and then do a lighter breakfast like some cottage cheese and fruit or I stretch it out and I'll do a bigger brunch like breakfast lunch combination later in the day um, or later in the morning like around 11 and have that as like my carry me over breakfast. I also grabbed a pack of romaine lettuce for some salads this week and sandwiches, wraps, all that good stuff and I kind of showed you guys when I was comparing the strawberries a bag of pink lady apples. These are our favorite. I feel like they're always nice and firm. They're not mealy. They're tart and juicy but sweet at the same time so they're a great all around apple. I love having these just as snacks or um, using them with peanut butter as like part of like a lunch snack plate that I do sometimes. Instead of like a whole meal, I'll like grab a little snacky things and have that as lunch. So I have been noticing lately, some days I have a, a lot of trouble hitting 38 points a day because I'm not a big snacker normally. Um, I will have all my meals throughout the day. Sometimes I combo a breakfast, lunch, lunch, brunch situation. Um, lunch. Why did I just say lunch? Brunch is a much more commonly accepted term. It's that time of the haul. Okay, so I've noticed I sometimes don't make it to 38 points or I will sometimes make my points but be significantly under in my calories for where I'm trying to be. I double count WW points and calories just because I think it's a better measure for me when I do WW alone. It was significant in helping me jumpstart my health journey. I lost, well, I'm currently 73 pounds down, but using WW alone, I've, I lost over 60 pounds. And then over the last few months, I started double counting with calories because I noticed I was starting to hiatus and like it stuck at plateaus. And once I started counting my calories, I realized like I could reach my points per day, but only be eating like 1400 calories, which for me at my weight and height and everything is, is kind of too low. So I feel like for me, for good, slow, steady, healthy, sustainable weight loss, I need to be eating 1800 calories at least a day. Um, and that's based on, I use a calorie deficit calculator online and I just try to, I'm very, at the very beginning stages of calorie deficit, learning more about macros. So it is my goal to try and make it to calories. Um, so if I hit my points, I know that I need to use up some of my weekly points to get me to my 1800 calories a day. And I love cashews. So these are just some roasted cashews, salted. Yes, 
It comes in at kind of an expensive point for a snack. I want to say it's like five points um, for a quarter cup, but a quarter cup of nuts is a lot. And I feel like if I did this with some fruit, that's a really good snack that I could have later at night. It's not going to like over kick my sweet tooth into high gear or anything like that. Um, and it'll give me some protein and just kind of help me balance out those numbers without going way overboard or way to just like having desserts and sweets and treats to get to my calories. It like, I feel like it serves a purpose because it has protein. I don't know. I just thought it would be a good snack. Okay. Anyway, that is the haul for today, guys. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed today's content or shop with me and haul from Aldi. It really helps out my channel. So thank you guys so much for supporting me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can join me for my Costco haul that's coming up probably next week. And until next time, bye! bye.